Hi everybody, Michelle Geomatix here today with a demonstration on how to use some of the overlay tools in ArcGIS for desktop. In this map I have three layers, land ownership polygons, ponderosa pine polygons, and peak points. And I want to show you a couple of the tools and we'll start with intersect. So intersect, I'm just going to work with on the two polygon layers, so I'll turn off peaks for now. You can see that my ponderosa pine layer actually goes out way beyond the boundaries of Arizona. So if I do an intersect overlay with the ponderosa pine and the land ownership polygons, the output is going to be the intersection of their extents. So let's come into our toolbox and look at the overlay tool set. You can see there's several different tools here. With an advanced license you get them all. And we'll start off with the intersect. So here it doesn't matter which order you put your input data in. So we'll just enter in both of those layers. So the ponderosa pine and the land ownership. And for the output I'm going to let it default to my default geo database. So let's run this tool and the output is added to the map and if I turn off all of my other layers you can see that the output represents the intersection of where the extents intersected one another. If I look at the attributes I see the attributes for the ponderosa pine that I had before and I also see the attributes for the land ownership. All of these attributes coming next are from land ownership. So overlay gives me attributes of everything and you can see here if I turn on the ponderosa pine layer and reveal my results you see that the results are broken up into smaller pieces. So if we look at one of these smaller polygons you can see that that one's made up of several pieces whereas the original ponderosa pine is just one solid piece. So when you do an overlay where there's intersection between the layers that you're overlaying you get polygons cut into different pieces. Okay let's go back to what we had originally and if I do a union this time another one of the overlay tools it works the same way except for the output is going to be the union of the extents of the inputs. So I'll end up with, in this case, an extent that is the ponderosa pine, is everything we see here. So it's going to go well beyond the borders of Arizona. So let's just take a look at how that's going to work. So we have our ponderosa pine and our land ownership polygons and I'll accept all the defaults and go ahead and run this tool. And there's the result of my union. So you can see that the extent covers the full extent of both of the input extents. If I open up the attributes, I see uh, all the attributes for the ponderosa pines and then the attributes for the land ownership. And you'll notice here there's a lot of land ownership polygons that uh, there's no attributes for them. As I kind of scroll through there are some attributes. So with intersect everything had the attributes of both because it was the intersection of where both layers exist. With union you can end up as I did here where um, I have some ponderosa pines and no land ownership. Or if I scroll down a little farther I have no ponderosa pines and I do have land ownership and then some of them, if I keep scrolling down, uh, somewhere in here there's uh, pieces that have both. So you get a lot more than maybe you bargained for. Alright, let's go back to the extent of the state and we'll turn that one off. And the last overlay tool that I want to show you will work with peaks and the ponderosa pine. So in this case I want to show you the erase overlay tool and what the erase tool is going to do is basically uh, erase parts of in this case the peaks 
wherever they come in contact with the ponderosa pine polygons. So let's look at the help for erase. So here's my help. It shows that my input is going to be something large and extensive and then the erase features are going to be uh, some kind of like uh, polygon or something that we're going to basically erase. We're going to cut little holes with. So let's see how this works. We're going to have our input features be peaks, our erase features are the ponderosa pine stands, and we'll go ahead and run this tool. And the result are peaks that are cut out with uh, the places where they intersect the ponderosa pine. So an application here might be that I'm doing some kind of a study for the ponderosa pine stands and I don't want the peak data in the way for those areas. Hey, thanks for watching. Please visit us at the URL you see here. This is Michelle Geomatic saying goodbye for now.